The 21 card spread is a fabulous one for telling the whole story, for it not only gives us the aspects, but the description of those aspects so we can see the underlying influences. It is a good one for a general overview of someone's situation, or to deal with a specific question. Following the instructions on the screen, lay your 21 cards out like this. By reading the central line first, you can immediately get an overview of your seeker. The number one card of this reading is for and about the person you are reading for. It can be used in two ways. It can be the central theme of the entire reading, a starting point. Or you can choose it as a signifier, based on age, which is page, knight, queen and king or the astrological signs as represented by pentacles, rods, swords and cups. For more information on the signifiers, have a look at the article on this website. So many people want to know what their destiny or path is. Number 19 can be a good indicator of this and also whether they are soul aware enough to follow it through. The seeker's state of mind, number four, can have an impact on whether they have the focus, the strength and the clarity to see this path through. It is through both the mind and the strength of the soul that we can see and follow our path clearly. The cards number 19 and 4 deal with our spiritual selves. Most people have a gut reaction about their lives. Whether they take notice of it or ignore it, the number seven card is a great way of bringing those issues to the surface. And of course the number 16 card is what those gut feelings are about, the physical situation, our third dimensional everyday reality. The number 16 card shows the reader what someone's actual physical situation is. Is it good? Is it bad? This can be around work, home, family or health. Whilst many seekers aren't particularly interested in their past, it is a way of validating the reading and also to give the reader an idea of how that person got to the situation they're in now. In this way, the number 17 card has become the root of the entire reading. What has happened to actually start this person on the path that they're on? Just like any descriptive story, Number 8 and number 9 refer to number 2, which is the recent past. Combining the meanings of 8, 9 and 2 can give you a fuller explanation of what has just gone before, which of course is going to help with the flow of the entire reading. While the two groups of blue cards deal with the present, the top left hand group actually deal with the subconscious part of the reading. That which the person may not know about, something that is hidden. As an example, if I were to see these four cards in the unknown position of the present, I would actually say that the Empress, which means birth, flanked by the Three of Cups, which is the portent of a child, and the Sun, which is happiness, would mean that there's a baby coming into the environment, coming into that person's life. However, the unconscious factor of the Ten of Rods means great burdens or a feeling that you are carrying too much. In this it might mean that assumption that the responsibility has to be held by one person alone, not necessarily correct. In the combination of 6, 14 and 15, these are issues that are very much to the forefront of your seeker's mind 
and again 14 and 15 are descriptive cards to give you an overview or a more fuller idea of what 6 is about. The interesting configuration with the 21 is that this is an issue that the seeker must think about now in order to help bring in the future. Number 21 actually refers to the current situation and future situation. This could be an important issue that helps that person move into the future and may not necessarily be to the forefront of their mind. People come to a reader because they want to know their future. Just remember that the future is a result of decisions that are made now and from the past. This means that the future influences are a direct result of those decisions. Change the decisions and the future will change. Number five is the probable immediate future. It is more firm than the likely future event. The number 12 and number 13 card will put a distinct flavour on the probable immediate future. You need to know the meanings of your cards because with every combination the meanings of a particular card will change. Let's take this likely future event with the previous reference to someone who might be expecting a baby. The full card is about a whole new journey. This isn't a journey that you know particularly where you're going, but it is one of trust and knowing that it's going to be okay. However, the two flanking cards are negative. The moon card is about unexpected things that come out of the darkness and can indicate that we carry fear around our new event. The five of cups is what we call the card of regret, but it is where someone is focusing on what they don't have rather than the four cups of what they do behind them. This can indicate that that person isn't quite sure about whether they want the baby or not. The top right hand card is a likely future event and the two of rods indicate strength, being able to carry the orb of the world in your hands. You can reassure this person that while they have fears associated with their new journey, they will find the strength that they need to carry on. We then look at the card 21, the four of coins. The four of coins meaning it's a good time to start saving some money. 